Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE. In this lesson, we'll look at review questions 7 through 9. Let's begin with review question number 7. Joe is a former employee of the Internal Revenue Service who is applying for enrollment as an enrolled agent based on his employment with the IRS. Which of the following rules applies to his application? A. While working for the Internal Revenue Service, Joe must have been regularly engaged in interpreting and applying IRS code and regulations relating to income, estate, gift, employment, or excise tax in order to be enrolled as an agent based on his former employment with the IRS. B. Joe's enrollment as an enrolled agent will always be limited to the presentation of matters similar to those he dealt with while working for the IRS. C. Joe must have worked for the Internal Revenue Service continuously for at least 10 years to qualify as an enrolled agent based on his former employment with the IRS. Or D. Joe must apply for enrollment based on his status as a former IRS employee within five years of leaving the IRS. The correct answer is A. An applicant who is requesting enrollment as an enrolled agent based on former employment with the IRS must have been regularly engaged in applying and interpreting the provisions of the IRS code and regulations relating to income, estate, gift, employment, or excise tax. Now let's take a look at review question number eight. Joe has just completed the application process to be an enrolled retirement plan agent. Why might the Director of the Office of Professional Responsibility grant Joe temporary recognition to practice before the Internal Revenue Service pending the office's final decision? A. The Director of the Office of Professional Responsibility has information suggesting that some of the information on Joe's application might not be accurate. B. The information in Joe's application is insufficient to warrant enrollment to practice. C. There are unusual circumstances concerning Joe's application. Or D. There are irregularities in Joe's application. The correct answer is C. Temporary enrollment will only be granted to Joe if there are unusual circumstances surrounding Joe's application. Now let's take a look at review question number nine. Joe is an enrolled agent. Which of the following activities would not qualify for continuing professional education credit? A. Joe enrolls in an ethics course at the local community college where the instructor is a former IRS employee. B. Joe appears as the guest speaker at the local community college where he leads a discussion about the taxation of student loans. C. Joe writes a lengthy article about electronic filing of individual tax returns and submits the article to several magazines for possible publication. Or D. Joe registers for an online ethics course and passes a written examination given by the sponsor of the course. The correct answer is C. Joe's article only qualifies him for continuing professional education credit if the article has been published. Because Joe's article has not yet been published, it would not qualify for CPE credit. Like what you see? Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com 
forward slash unlimited CPE.